back. It's Rose with Rose Originals. As you know, I've been working um, on a new method for hot process. So today I'm trying Tina Monk's recipe. She calls it stained glass uh, method. So let's get going. I've got my oils here and let me add my lye. Now in my lye I do have sodium lactate, uh, four teaspoons. And as you remember last time I tried to make a new method with hot process, I kind of got volcanoed. I've been studying a little bit more and I think I can avoid the volcano okay, this so time. Let me, uh, <clears throat> let me go ahead and stick blend this. Okay, so I got it to a nice trace. It's pretty thick. So I'm going to go ahead and cover it and watch it. And I'll bring you back. It's 12.07 right now, so we'll see how long this takes to, um, to go the first round. Okay, so here we go. It's been cooking for about 20 minutes. I'm sorry, 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and stir it. Okay, and it still needs to really cook a lot longer. I'm just really hesitant to leave it alone because of the experience I had <laughs> last time. And I've never had a soap volcano before on me. And I've made hot process a lot because that's how I initially started making soap. I started making um, hot process. Okay, so it's looking good. The sides were all cooked, so let me go ahead and leave it for another little while. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put five minutes on my timer because um, I don't want to lose sight of this soap. All right, so I'll bring you back in five minutes. All right, so I'm starting to see a lot of action in this soap. It's only been three minutes, so that's a total of 13 minutes, and it's to the applesauce stage. Now, I'm going to give it a good stir, and I'm going to watch this like a hawk, because it's really, really hot right now. And I am leaving the crock pot on high, even though I run the risk of another volcano, but I am leaving it on high. All right, so. All right, so I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna watch it like crazy. And I'm gonna let it cook for another couple of minutes. But I'm gonna stand right here and watch it. All right, so I'll bring you back. Okay, so we're back. It's been um, another three, two minutes, because um, I set the timer for three minutes. And it's looking really good. It's really, really hot. I want to give it a nice stir. Now she adds a simple syrup um, at the volcano stage. So we're kind of waiting for that. And then afterwards she adds, um, well, according to, you know, depending on, on your recipe, this recipe calls for two ounces of glycerin. Um, so, because I'm making four pounds. So I'm gonna, all right. All right, this is looking really good right now. Um, so I'm going to cover it again and just keep an eye on it. Bring you back. All right, so it's been another two minutes, and it looks really, really good. All right, so it looks pretty close to the volcano stage. So I'm going to give it a good stir. 
as you can see it's nice and fluid and that's what we're looking for but we don't want volcano oh that's my timer okay so I, I lied it was a little less than two minutes but it looked like it was getting ready to come over the top now I do have a bigger um, crock pot and I think next time I'm going to use it to give myself some room okay so let's see let's see let me give it another good stir okay the crock pot is still on high it's nice and fluffy All right, so I'm gonna cover it for just a few more minutes. I don't want a lot of this water to evaporate. Okay, folks, so it's very near the volcano stage. I'm gonna go ahead and add my simple syrup. Now everything is warm. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bore you with you know how to make a simple syrup. She explains it on um, her channel, and by the way, she's going to have an ebook available with recipes and uh, you know different processes. Okay, so I'm not going to talk a lot. I want to stir, 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 stir. So I'm going to take this out of the crock pot because I think it's got enough heat. Oh my God, I'm going to get a volcano again. Okay, no, I do not want volcano. All right, good. Okay, so let me beat this into submission. Okay, so now, see how it's gelling? Can you guys see how it's changing consistency? Okay, so this is cooking. There we go. And I avoid a volcano, yes. All right, so there we go. So the more you stir, the more fluid it's gonna get. Now in a little while, I'm gonna add my glycerin. I'm gonna add two ounces of glycerin. So I've been stirring, I did a zap test, did not get zapped. So, and you can tell by the uh, appearance of this soap that it's cooked. It's got that Vaseline translucent look. All right, now I'm gonna add my glycerin. And I had it in the microwave, just, just warmed it up a little bit. Now mine doesn't look as flu as hers, but let me let me continue incorporating this glycerin. I'm adding a little bit at a time, and I think I am going to take it off the heat because I don't want to overcook. It. All right, so I'm going to continue incorporating this glycerin, 
and I'll bring you back. All right, so I've stirred and stirred and stirred, and I love the consistency. Uh, nice and, and fluid. So I'm going to go ahead and add my fragrance oil in here now. And I'm using, um, sorry about the arm, I'm using uh, Crafter's Choice Green Apple. And I'm going to decorate it, um, and I'm going to add this slowly so it doesn't shock the soap. Because I did not um, heat up my fragrance oil, which I should have. In fact, you know what? I'm going to just put it into the microwave for just a minute. I'm going to color it. Um, the base is going to be white. I'm using Vanna White from Mad Oils. Oh my god, this smells so good. This smells like pie almost. It smells delicious. I've never used this fragrance before. Had very good reviews and I could see why because it smells amazing. All right, it's looking good. Let me add the rest of this. Okay, I'm pretty sure that it's nicely incorporated in there. So let me go ahead and start to work on my colors. try to do a hanger swirl and yeah it's really nice and fluid I really like the texture of this now my regular hot process soap it's uh, it's fluid let me let me get you let me you know let me um, assure you it's fluid but it's not as fluid as this all right let me get some more white Okay, let me tap this down. Make sure we don't have any air bubbles in there. Okay, let me get the darker green. Okay, it's staying fluid. I mean, it's not, you know, we're not talking cold process here but it's uh, it's pretty good I'm happy with it I'm gonna leave some for the top and hopefully I can I can do something with the top with the colors okay oh I'm running out of white don't want to run out of white let me move some of this over here move over here <laughs> maybe that's not the way to do it all right, um, I need another spatula. All right, let me clean this up. All right, let me tap this down. And then I'm gonna do the hanger swirl through it. Run the hanger tool through it. This smells really good. I love this fragrance. I've been getting more and more um, fruit fragrances. People seem to like that. I'm not a fruity type of girl, but well, you got to give the customers what the customers want. Okay, so let me just go ahead and uh, put this on here. Okay, 
so yeah the top is you know it's going to be hot process top but you know that's that's okay it's a little rougher looking but but that's okay Alright, I didn't even check to see if you were in frame. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm so... I just want to get this, you know, make sure this is done. Alright, so... No, not bad. Not bad. Okay, so what I want to do... I, and I left my gloves on. It would have been so much easier to take the gloves off, but I'm so used to working with gloves when I do soap. Alright, so I'm going to put a little... Um, glitter on top. This is emerald green glitter from um, Wholesale Supplies Plus. Just a little bit. It's the holidays. People like a little glitter. Okay, and I think I'm going to put a little bit of opalescent too. too. Why not, right? It's the holidays. It's the, oh yeah, see? I love this opalescent glitter. It's from um, Wholesale Supplies Plus, and it just has the most beautiful sparkle. It's just really pretty. Now, off camera, I'm going to put a little um, alcohol on there because I want to make sure that um, the glitter sticks um, but I'll leave you now with this. It looks pretty good. So I will attach the cutting video to the end of this. So uh, stay tuned. All right. Until then. Bye. Hi, everyone. Rose with Rose Originals. Um, we're going to cut the uh, green apple. Um, this is the one that um, almost volcanoed on me. And let's see what kind of squirrels we get. All right, I had two tones of green, and I really only see one, but that's okay. Those are nice swirls. I like that. I'm only going to cut one loaf because I figured they're probably very similar to each other. Okay, and I don't know if you can tell, but see the, the um, different dimensions that Vanna White, that the mica, gives the soap. It's it's really pretty. I really like that mica. All right, that's pretty. I like that. I think I'm going to do more hot process because um, I think I really like the effect, I like the fact that it's ready a lot faster. Uh, now with this one, you probably can't see it because the lighting is terrible, but with this one, you can tell that there's a different, uh, two different colors. Alright, I really like that. Alright, I'm very happy with this technique. Very happy. Alright, not much there. Okay, my camera is telling me that the memory is almost full. So let me make this really quick. There's the next one. Alright folks, thank you for watching. And if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Until next time, bye.